we went and bought a Bronco. That's right, we're gonna be giving away this 2021 brand new Ford Bronco in November. But in the meantime, you get to follow along as we build this thing up into a SEMA beast with our friends at Deutsch Off-Road. Initial impressions of the Bronco, I really like the shape and form of this body. I think in general, anyone who's coming from a Jeep and going to a Bronco, uh, you're gonna notice a lot of similarities just in the general boxy format. Uh, this front windshield is prone to chips and dents and scrapes uh, just like good old Jeep friends, but there's a couple little things that are much better and some elements that you're kind of like, okay, I guess. I guess that's a thing. Starting with the side view mirrors. Love how that's on the body already and you have a couple different ports to add some aftermarket lights. Obviously, there's so many of us that want some additional light for the trail, so that was really good. Take the doors off easily. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of this, uh, of the automatic window. Every time you open and close it, it goes up and down. I get that's kind of standard on a lot of different forward vehicles and vehicles in general. Comes with 33s uh, and I like the look of the wheels. The tires are the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Those are great for everyday use and for off-roading. Uh, the fenders come off really easily, which is cool. We have a soft top on this. Ford has had some issues delivering the hard top to customers. We went with the soft top because we're gonna take it off anyway and put some aftermarket stuff on there, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but in general, it's pretty cool what you could do. You could take this portion out to create like a safari look um, when you're going off-roading or just in general. This soft top comes all the way back, goes straight convertible mode. Everyone loves that about these vehicles. Full-size spare in the back, of course, you're going to recognize that from any Jeep ever created. Uh, and then in the back, we have some little hydraulics here, which is different than the Jeep. So if you're parked on a hill, it's not gonna slam back and hit you. Uh, but you're obviously gonna be able to put some accessories on here pretty easily. With the soft top, if you wanted to open this up, that's kind of cool. Gives a little bit of extra space. Uh, if you have the hard top, I think the hard top comes up so you don't have to worry about it as much. But uh, the amount of space in the back seems to be bigger than the Jeep. I don't know if it actually is, but you got a little storage, you got your jack in here. Uh, you have four different connections so you can mount some goose gear or anything else that you want. Um, it's pretty much, it looks like it's optimally, like there's optimal space storage. The wheel well doesn't stick out like it does in a Jeep a little bit. Um, and you got a 12 volt, you got some lights back there. So it's pretty cool. So this has the tow package, towing capacity on the Bronco is the same as the Jeep, 3,500 pounds. Be able to tow a teardrop trailer, not really much more than that. But at the same time, you're, this is not a, a towing vehicle. Uh, back seat, everyone loves the back seat, right? I would recommend going with the upgraded interior. This material just doesn't, it seems kind of cheap. It's like a suede, like fake suede, le fake leather that I, I honestly, I don't know how long that's gonna last. The other thing is the sound system. Go with the, the high-end sound system on your Bronco order. The lower end just doesn't sound great. We're gonna put aftermarket stuff in it so it doesn't matter as much for us, but for you, something definitely to think about. Now the drivers, a couple cool little things. You got a handle right here, uh, which actually can kind of come in handy if you are going on any steep terrain. Uh, and then the dashboard and the cockpit. Let's jump in, take a look at that. Coming from the Jeep world, you're going to notice a lot of similarities to the general overall feel of it, but the Bronco does feel a little bit bigger. More headroom, part of that could be the soft top, but in general, it feels like a more spacious vehicle. When you're driving it, uh, you could tell that it's meant for more high speed stuff rather than like a Jeep rock or crawl. It drives better than the Wrangler, but the Wrangler, it's just unmatched in off-road territory. That being said, there's some cool little features here from uh, your ability to disconnect the sway bar. All your switches are right here. If you want to lock the front and rear axle, uh, if you want to have uh, turn assist or turn your traction control off, that is all on the front dash. And then also you have six different aux channels stock in this version, uh, which are cool just to have it already built in. Looks really seamless. I like that a lot. So the look and the feel of it definitely feels like a, you know, like an updated version of the Jeep, maybe just with some different uh, features. I like the look of it. I will say I would prefer something a little bit hardier for the dash here. It just seems a little, you know, plasticky, um, but it's nice, definitely nice. It looks good in its stock form, but will it stand up to an actual trail without having to do any modifications? That's what we're gonna find out in today's video. So stay tuned as I take it to Bulldog Canyon in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. 